Yo, what is up, boys and girls? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In today's video, I'm showing you guys how to make add on vehicles 5 and ready. First things first, you're gonna need an add on vehicle, make sure it doesn't say it's 5 and ready. Um, just download that from GTA 5 Mods. This is where most people get all of their cars from. Um, now, the second thing you're gonna need is Open IV. Um, uh, this is on GTA 5 Mods, but um, Open IV has a weird issue where sometimes it will actually work and let you install it. Well, the times it won't work, so as you can see here, I go to download, and this happens. Um, I'm not sure what they are going to do to fix it or how to fix it, um, but it ha I believe it happens to a fair lot of people. Um, so you will need that. Um, now I've already got installed. What you just want to do is go download. Um, and if you haven't used this before, just go download again, and it will start the downloads. So let's get out of that. Now. In OpenIV, what you want to do is set it up, if you are installing it for the first time it actually works. Um, once you do that, what you want to do is go to Tools, ASI Manager. Now, there will be three things. So, this is also for modding your GTA 5, just a regular GTA 5. Um, but you will need a mods folder, you can just create one in your GTA 5 directory. Or you can just go to install openiv.asi. That will make you a mods folder or automatically. Um, now just go to your mods folder, I have cars, this where I edit my cars and stuff like that. So first things first, you want to just create a file on your desktop, you know, or whatever you want to call it. Um, here I have a bunch of brands, because I have a custom script for my car shop, um, and I have to add all these in. Um, and it just makes it much more neat to have the car brands and the names, it's just less hassle for me. Um, you can set it like this if you want, I, I do recommend it, it's, like I said, it's less hassle, uh, but enough of that blabber, now let's go to BMW, now I've already added a couple of times, uh, I've had some corruption in my video recordings, um, so doing this again, um, so I've just named it 2022 BMW Series 7, um, now what you want to do in this folder, um, you, you want to create a new folder, um, so you want to go to new folder, and you want to call it stream, so S-T-R-E-M, that's stream. Now you won't do anything to that just yet. The next thing you'll need to put in this folder is a resource.lua. Now the resource.lua will make sure that your the custom files for the card to make it function, to drive, you know, break, accelerate. Um that that's those are, this is what's gonna make that work. Um or at least make sure it works. Um if you can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, now you really won't need to edit this, um, I have a little, the only thing you will need to edit is the DLC text.meta. Most cars from what I've seen, um, do have DLC.txt, um, that most 5 and ready cars do not. Um, the easiest way to get this resource to lower is actually you just download a 5 and ready car from GTA 5 mods, and it'll have the resource at lower ready for you, and you can just drag and drop. I've done this for multiple cars, um, as you see I have multiple directories for all the brand, most of the brands. Um, and most of them are just making them fiber and ready. Um, so just copying that to there. Now what you want to do is actually open up the BMW. Um, now, I'm, I do apologize, I did miss a step. Um, so once you go into here, so this will just be a name. So for me, how I've set it up, this will just be the, this will be the name of my car shop. But now you want the actual folder for the car so you can actually drag and drop into the server. Um, as you can see here, what you want to do is create a new folder. Um, for this one, I'm just going to drag and drop this. This is the spawn code um, for this BMW. Um, so when you're spawning into the server, um, that, that will be the spawn code here. So what I usually do, once you open it, there is a DLC.RPF. Uh, you can't access that unless you put it in OpenRV, which we'll get, we'll get to in a second. What you want to do is drag and drop in here. It is the, it's the fastest way. You want to delete the DLC.RPF. Um, now, because I fucked this up, just copy those to that real quick. Um, so you want these in the folder that I've just created there. Um, now, once that's done, get the folder again and drag this over into your OpenIV. Um, now, make sure edit mode here is on, um, otherwise you will not be able to do anything in there. So, now what I want to do is go to BMW i7, TLC to RPF. First things first, going to do data. Um, this will be, as I explained to you, the resource to lure. This will be the the files to make the car drive and function properly. Um, so for these ones, what you want to do is pop, just drag, paste right into here. 
no files, just right here under resource at lower. Now you want to do is back out of that. So let me go to X64 vehicles to RPF. Now this one, you're going to copy all these. Now you want to drag and drop into the stream folder. And done. Now this this car is now 5 and ready. Um, now with most cars, once you... Some cars have custom um, mods. So when you go to Benny's or something, you get like your spoilers and stuff. Some cars will have that. That will be located in, in the X64 folder where we just went to put the stuff in the stream. Um, there will be something called mods. Um, this one doesn't have it. But if you do come across one that has mods and you'd like those mods to be put in, um, like this one, you just want to drag and drop to the stream folder and just have those in the stream folder with it and it should work. Um, so that's, that's done. I'm just going to get rid of that out of here. So that, that side of things is now done. This is now 5M ready. Um, now what we want to do is put it into your server. So as you can see here, like I said, my shit is very organized at the moment. So resources, mines and civ cars. Um, and I've got all the brands here, so BMW, I actually have it in there already, um, like I said, corruption in your files. So delete that, yes, um, and then I'm just going to drag this back in. And what you want to do is give that a second. Um, yeah, so while that's doing that, what you want to do is go to your server config. Um, so I'm using TX admin, you can have, whatever you have your server, go to the config. So if you take admin GFG editor, now what you'll do is ensure um, BMW i7, the spawn code of it, just type in sure. Um, what I've done is I've actually just ensured the directory. Um, this will also make your config much more neater and tidy. Um, so Civ cars here, that's my directory. That's already been added. So as you can see here, all these are also directories. I'd actually don't have to ensure all these directories because they're already in the directory that's insured um and that will just ensure that will pretty much just load everything that's in here up um and so yeah so that's now on the server just save whatever restart of console wait for it to all restart and then we'll jump into the server and uh test it out all right we got jumped in the server here um so yeah so i'm gonna spawn the car in I'm just using my TX7 spawn. It was uh, BMW R7, I believe this spawn code was. Perfect, as you can see, it has spawned in. Uh, it's all functional and everything. Uh, sounds pretty nice. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it, uh, it drives and works and functions, and uh, yeah, it's now on the server. Enjoy. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out, make sure to smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, turn notifications on to get notified when I next post. Uh, probably won't be for a while, but uh, we'll see. Let's get freaky!